Hello chaps, John here at Micro Aces. Welcome to Micro Aces Workshop once again. Um, I just wanted to make a little video to tell you a little bit more about the um, twin uh, flight pack that we're now doing. Now obviously the flight pack itself um, was initially uh, required for our, um, our new uh, Percy twin engine uh, aircraft 1930s era uh, transport aircraft um, which is now shipping if you're interested um, but of course the electronics that we used in uh, in that aircraft um, are also available as a, a flight pack for your own projects as well and I am sure um, in the very near future for some more twin engine aircraft kits from micro Aces. so we'll yeah, yeah, lots of work to do but uh, yeah um, very very exciting stuff as always um, so what I did was make a very very sophisticated model um, to uh, to show you let's get down onto the build board as you can see there uh, <laughs> Um, but unpainted at the moment. It's essentially it's a, uh, a very simple. I found some three mil Depron um, lying around, so I quickly drew up a, uh, a very unsophisticated um, twin engine aircraft on uh, on Illustrator and sent it to the sent it to the laser cutter and uh, whipped this one um, out. And everything obviously is exposed, so you can see how it all ties together. Um, we've got um, some tail feathers there. We've got uh, our um, our control rods um, that run um, from the servos aft, and uh, as you can see, we've got our electronics uh, going out to the wings as well. Central to the uh, the setup is the receiver, which you can see here. And the receiver has a number of ports on it um, that are at the moment, or as supplied, set up um, for a, uh, the servo port set up for aileron control and the tail feather control to, to rudder and uh, an elevator. So, um, and then you've obviously got the twin ESCs, uh, electronic speed controllers, you know that, but... Uh, um, so uh, you've got those two supplies to the two motors and uh, and then you've got this additional little port at the front here and that's actually for plugging this unit into your computer um you're supplied with with the uh, the um receiver um you're supplied with this little pcb that end plugs into the socket on your uh, on your receiver and this um, socket here um, you can plug a uh, micro USB into there that's plugged into your PC run some software and you get access to the uh, entire setup really um, of the uh, of the receiver itself and you can make alterations and do all sorts of things we'll make a separate video um, to show you how that's done also to how to download the software and we'll take a tour of some of the uh, the, the menu options within there but there's there's all sorts that can be explored and uh, and i'm sure a lot of you will do if you get the uh, this this particular uh, this particular flight pack it's not only available as a flight pack the flight pack basically means it's also supplied with with motors props um, and the uh, motor wire extension leads um, you can buy it as an electronics pack which has everything um, but that so you get your your four servos for aileron control and uh, uh, rudder and elevator um, and you get your uh, plug-in board and the ability to download the software so um, there are all sorts of projects the the actual um, the setup of this unit as it stands as supplied um, works ideally for this type of layout so you've got it uh, you've got the uh, ESC ports rear facing um, and you've got the, uh, the the setup with the ailerons 
and the uh, rudder and elevator servos on the particular ports that you see there. Um, with when I mentioned that the uh, the ESCs being aft facing, this system has uh, an inbuilt stability um, setup within it, and uh, that can be turned on or off. And there, are, when it's turned on, there are actually two um, two settings. Um, which you can alter sensitivity of, but we set it up so that uh, the sensitivity is a sort of a mild sensitivity and uh, a, a more sensitive sensitivity, if you, if you see what I'm trying to say. Um, so that's, that's uh, an amazing bit of tech that's, uh, that's been integrated into this tiny little postage stamp uh, receiver. Um, so uh, let's just... Well, let's go ahead and switch it on. I've got my transmitter here. And I have my battery. I found these quite good. The uh, the E-Flight um, one cell batteries. They're 300 milliamp. It's giving the Percy around about a sort of a six to eight minute flight time, which, uh, which seems good. Um, I don't push it I'm sure that uh, if I did then uh, that would reduce the time but let's just um, switch on our transmitter now it uses the same bind process um, for um, the uh, Futaba version and for the FR Sky version and for the Spectrum version um, when you plug it in there's a little red LED that starts flashing on the uh, on the board and when that turns into a rapid flash that's in bind mode and and then you switch on your transmitter and and attempt to bind to it um it can take several um uh, several attempts but uh, it does work distance seems to help so if you can put a distance between you and the receiver and the transmitter um that uh, that seems to do the trick but uh, anyway this is bound I thought we'd get over that. Just plug it in. And you can see it's immediately switched on. Um, what I have here is I've got aileron control. Um, I've got ooh, elevator control. See there. Stay there. And uh, I've also got rudder control. I'm going to hold on to this because you'll see something else happening as well. So let's just get the uh, the rudder into view, so you can see the rudder moves. But if I go to the ends of the the stick, you can also see you can hear me that I've got uh, a motor activating um, on the uh, on the rudder control. I actually have the ability to set up differential thrust on this uh, on this little unit as well and i can set up that sensitivity too so i could actually have it set up so that um uh, the differential thrust um just controls the uh, the motors obviously as well as as well as cropple as well so we've got a bit noisy need to oil the gearbox um so we've got thrust but yeah, you can set this up so that you just got differential thrust um, and elevator and obviously your standard thrust as well, um, which means that you could actually drop um, three of the four servos and have quite a, a light uh, model um, just using differential thrust for um, your, uh, your directional control. Of the uh, of the aircraft, um, which is uh, which is quite exciting. But as it is, it's set up on uh, the far ends of the, the rudder throw. So um, that's um, that's how it is. And obviously, once we get into the video on how to set up this thing using the PC, um, then I can show you how we can change that, or we can actually even allocate it to different channels. So we can hop over, but make it hop over onto um, the aileron channel. So I can literally use my aileron control um, to as directional control if I don't have ailerons, or if I want a little extra help with ailerons. Or indeed, you could, you could actually set it up so that uh, one 
um, uh, one side would provide a little more acceleration on the inside of a of an aileron turn um, to keep the wing up. So there's all sorts of um, ways you can set it up. Uh, but let's move on to how it's set up at the moment. Um, the other thing we have is, as I mentioned before, we've got this stability system. And that, um, as standard, is set up as channel 5 on this particular receiver. So what I've done on the transmitter is I've set up channel 5 on my uh, B switch, which is a, a three-way switch that I've got on my Spectrum DX6. Um, and so what I can do is, in my two position, um, that's switched off. If I move that to my uh, one position, then you can see a little blue light comes on on the um, on the receiver. That's to indicate that I have uh, stability on in the first uh, first mode. And if I switch it again, it actually f got a flashing blue light, which shows us that we've got stability on in the highest mode. Um, and as you can hear, as <laughs> as I move things around everything starts twitching. Um, so I give it a bit of uh, a bit of roll, then the ailerons start working against that roll. If I give it some yaw, then the rudder, I'm not showing you the rudder, but you can probably see there the, the rudder control. If I, if I pop it off to the uh, uh, one way, the rudder tries to counteract that move um, and the same on the pitch as well you can see that the little elevator servo there is twitching back and forth trying to compensate for the movement of the aircraft so so that's absolutely fantastic and we can switch as i said between between the modes is there anything else I need to show you here? Well, um, you've got extension cables. So uh, you've got our standard uh, motors either side, and you can you can um, you can purchase the flight pack with uh, long or uh, short um, prop shafts. Uh, the the Percy actually uses the long prop prop shafts just because of the the contours at the front of the nacelles just require that little extra reach. It also means that you can get quite a lot of prop shaft into the prop adapter um, so it, it's nice and stable um, and we've also got on the um, on the, uh, the, the the aileron control um, we've got a y cable so the y cable goes into the one socket there splits off and, uh, and goes to each of the uh, each of the servos um, there's a, a plug on each of them so this goes out to the uh, the sort of outer reaches of the wing on the on the Percy anyway and then this this continues into the extension along the wing um, so that you can uh, you can fit your servo um, close to your aileron so you can just, just turn it over so you can see it, uh, it's all, all very simple under there um, you've just got your servo arm and then the, the, the little rod there um, and you've got your little um, your little aileron control horn just uh, just sitting just sitting there so um, this is the configuration uh, that, that, that where everything sits um, within the Percy as well so it gives you a very good idea of the layout uh, how it all sits together the battery when it's um, uh, when it's plugged in it just slots into uh, a little holder um, that's carved well, uh, cut into or designed into the uh, the framework of the uh, the actual Percy uh, aircraft so um, so there we go that's the um, that's how it's all set up um, it can make or provide you with some very interesting projects for the future and what I've found with certainly with the um, with the Percy itself um, it's it's very stable uh, obviously you know, being a being a twin engine aircraft that 
provide some stability anyway but um yeah i mean it, it uh, it's it's wonderfully stable in the air and um with the um stability control system um it's uh, it can take a little bit of wind outside as well so um park flying that sort of things definitely uh, definitely doable um, you don't have to have a windless day to uh, to enjoy um, your uh, your aircraft, whether it be a Percy or your own build or whatever we do in the future. Well, chaps, um, thank you ever ever, ever so much. <laughs> thank you ever so much um, for uh, for watching um, this particular video. I hope the um, uh, the twin system is something that you will be able to use. The twin flight pack system is something that you'll be able to use. Um, and I look forward to seeing how it's used in the future, both um, with your projects and uh, and our projects as well. As I said before, keep the ideas coming in. If you've got uh, a particular aircraft you'd like to... System idle. <laughs> Don't think so. Um, there we go. Switch her off. Um... Yeah, if you have any ideas um, of uh, what you'd like to uh, to see us make uh, in the um, in the twin engine um, bracket, um, then uh, I'd be most interested to hear. We have a long list already, but um, things can leapfrog, and I get inspired with uh, all sorts of things. So um, I look forward to hearing from you anyway. And um, uh, yeah. Uh, I hope the, uh, the the twin engine system brings you um, some building happiness. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.